it has begun. The NBA 2K22 timeline started today with the announcement of the cover athletes and the pre-order bonuses that you get with each version of the game. And I'm here for all of it. Let's go. Here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's blow What's good, you two? NBA 2K22, finally, after teasing us for like 30 weeks, it seems like, gave us the cover athletes. Luka Doncic from the Mavericks donning the NBA 2K22 cover for this year's rendition of the game. Candace Parker, the first ever female to don a sports cover for NBA 2K. And then we had Kareem, we had Dirk, and we had KD all on the legend copy of NBA 2K22 for the 75th anniversary of the NBA. What you think about this? Put it down in the comment section and let me know. Now that we have this cover athletes done, it starts the timeline for information from NBA 2K. We need to talk about these pre-orders and we have some pertinent information coming from a Q&A about this year's title. Let's go. It all starts with a series of tweets. Here's Candace Parker's cover. Real cool, that's dope. She's the first ever. Next, we have the 75th anniversary edition with my man Dirk, Kareem, and KD on it. That's a pretty dope artwork. A lot of people who have been saying it's trash and anybody could come up with something better, but I mean, it's a, hey, it's, I mean, it's just a cover, y'all. It, it, it ain't the game, it's just, it's just a cover. My man Luca on the cover for the entire franchise of NBA 2K as the quintessential cover athlete of the standard edition of the game. NBA 2K22 with Luka Doncic on the cover, man. That boy's smooth. I, for one, was, I was a little surprised with this. I thought that it was gonna be either KD or Dirk on the standard edition, 100% on board with that. Luka is a beast. Now here's a question, and I definitely want an answer to this. This is not being racist. This is not being, you know what I'm saying, prejudice or anything like that. Is Luka Doncic the first ever white male on an NBA 2K cover? And now that we have all the covers, let's get into some of the promos that 2K also released. This is 20 and 20 the actual promo together. And the caption is, anytime, anywhere, you can be a lit. Does that mean we're gonna get an easier road to legend? I don't know. But again, this is the actual promo, the 30 second promo for the entire game. Let's get into talking about these actual pre-orders though, because that's where the money is, you know? That's where everybody tends to say, oh, I ain't pre-ordering this year. I'm not gonna pre-order it because the game's gonna be trash like always, all right? <sighs> Let me sip on my tea. Actually, that's water. Here's, here's the deal. Okay, I, Dub CP, I'm a content creator. I'm gonna get the game. I gotta get the game. Now, which version of the game I'm gonna get matters they got four different versions of the game. There's a standard edition, 75th anniversary edition, cross-gen bundle, digital only edition, and the 2K22 WNBA 25th anniversary edition. Let's start with the standard edition and what you get. The pre-order you will get 5,000 VC, 5,000 my team, 10 my team, a boost for my career, boost for each Gatorade boost type, Luka Doncic's player jersey, 95 rated Luka Doncic's my team free agent cards. The 75th anniversary edition, this is where you get the 100K VC, 
10K my team points, 10 my team tokens, Sapphire Kareem, 22 my team, Diamond Jordan Shoe my team, Coach Card my team, 10 boosts for my career, 10 boosts for Gatorade, four cover athlete t-shirts for your my player, my player backpack norm sleeve, custom design skateboard for your my player. So it seems if you spend the $100, you get a lot of my team stuff and a lot of my career shirts so that's a hundred dollars and you get the 100k vc and then the wnba 25th anniversary edition is pretty much the standard edition but it's only for the ps5 and xbox series x so and and, and the commemorative um candace parker on the cover right let's get into this cross gen bundle because there's a lot that is is built into this the cross gen bundle gives you both versions of the game you get the ps4 and ps5 version of the game and you get the xbox one or series x or s version of the game depending on which console you want to go through you don't get the 100k vc you only get 10,000 my team points 10 my team tokens you do get the sapphire kareem abdul jabbar and dirt and kd you get the you get everything that the legendary edition gives you minus the 100k vc and the actual game for the current or new gen that you have you don't get cross play okay there's no there's there's no cross play for 2k and this cross gen bundle only gives you access to xbox one or ps4 game and the ps5 or xbox series x or s you don't get to play between those either so like if i got a my player on xbox one i don't get to play with the my players on series x or s i do want y'all to understand that if i got a ps4 version of the game i don't get to play with the ps5 version my players the xbox store for the legendary edition the 75th anniversary edition it is a hundred dollars and that's across all platforms. On PS5, it's $70. On PS4, is $60. But the cross-gen bundle for Xbox and PS5 or Xbox and PlayStation is $80. Bucks. And then the 75th anniversary edition, like we said, is $100 across all platforms. You need to be very careful about which version of the game you get. If you got a PS4 or an Xbox One, don't buy the cross-gen version. The only reason I would buy the cross-gen digital bundle is if I have friends that have the Xbox One and PS4 version and I have a PS5 or Xbox Series X or S and I need to play with them as well. So that's the only reason I would get that bundle. For me, I'm eyeing that because a lot of you still don't have a PS5 or a next-gen console and this will be the greatest way for me to play with everybody. The only thing is the 100K VC that I won't get with the cross-gen bundle. But I ain't worried about that because, you know what I'm saying, I, for $50, I probably get, I'm gonna get 250,000 VC. Y'all know the prices, y'all know how it is. I ain't gonna get into all of that. According to the Twitter feed, NBA 2K22 leaks and intel, the question was asked, Will there be any cross progression or cross play between different versions of NBA 2K22 or the modes? There will not, I repeat, will not be cross play between different consoles or PC. There will, however, be cross progression in my team across generations of consoles from the same console family. Xbox One to Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. Only my team will cross over to the new consoles from the old consoles in the same game. That's the only crossing we're going to get. There's no cross platform in PS5. We'll not be able to play with Xbox. Xbox will not be able to play with PS4. It just won't happen because I, we don't, I, I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Moving on though, this is a bombshell. Will there be a demo version of NBA 2K22 this year? 
talking about the my player engine that we got the past two years so where we could go in and finesse our my players and see what kind of builds we wanted to do none of that no you know what i'm saying prelude prelude however you want to say it where we get to learn about ai and, and all his fun things that he was doing before he got drafted into the nba none of that no no Although the demo version is a regular content released by NBA 2K, we decided not to release the demo version this year, but instead focus on creating fully functional games of this generation and previous generations. What? 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 So y'all took 22 years to start focusing on the game that y'all are trying to produce? And I... I I, I, you know, whatever, whatever. We have begun the descent into the 2K22 madness. Next up, we're probably gonna get some soundtracks, some new clothing, and probably the MyGM info blog. So stay tuned because more 2K news is on the way. Smash that like button. Comment down below, let me know what you think about the NBA 2K22 timeline rollout. And subscribe if you're brand new. I'm making a video every single day this year from 2K22 news to where to find a PS5. Hit that subscribe button with the post notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it was. It's your boy, Doug's CP. Here to do one thing, you're one thing only, and that's Deuces.